This exotic looking dog is a Podenco from Spain. In their homeland, the breed is often treated with shocking cruelty. They are not considered pets. They're starved because the perception of the hunter is if the dog is starved, it will hunt better. The Podenko was suffering from a broken leg that had never been treated. When I think about everything that Paloma's been through, the terrible neglect and how she coped with what would have been an excruciating injury, it really makes me realize how brave and how dignified this beautiful dog really is. In Isleworth, Oh, Paloma, what are you doing? Are you taking a rest? Boutique owner Laura is hoping Scott can give her very special rescue dog a healthy new life. She is an absolute beautiful dog, like an Egyptian goddess. And she has such poise and grace. She's just a delight. This exotic looking dog is a Podenco from Spain. In their homeland, the breed is often treated with shocking cruelty. They are not considered pets. They are bred purely for hunting rabbits. They're starved because the perception of the hunter is if the dog is starved, it will hunt better. As soon as the season is off, they dispose of them by either throwing them out on the streets or uh, even worse, they throw them down ravines and unspeakably, they hang them off trees. Paloma was one of the lucky ones after she was rescued and taken to a Spanish pound. The Podenko was suffering from a broken leg that had never been treated. I assume the hunter obviously couldn't care less about her health and just let it set as is. Uh, once realizing that she couldn't hunt, he dumped her. And the lower joint and the upper joint are not affected, but we've got a, a twisted leg. A local vet then refractured and straightened Paloma's leg with a metal plate. I applied to adopt Paloma. As soon as she arrived at the door, she was just delightful, so happy, loving and jumping, and so glad to be here. And it was just wonderful. Are you a happy girl now that you're here? Hmm? Paloma is now settling in well to her new English life. But Laura is worried she may still have a problem with her leg. Lately, there is a slight limp after she runs quite a bit in the park. We're going home. That's why I've contacted Scott. Just I wanted him to check her over just to make sure there's nothing very serious. Oh. Hello, Scott. How are you? I'm very good, Laura. Good to see you. Mwah. How's our beautiful Spanish princess? Hola. Well, here she is. Come esta? Having a rest. Bit tender there. You can see concerned. she's saying, in the nicest possible way, get off, aren't you? Hey. So there's definitely a bit of restriction in the mm. movement of her wrist joint, her carpal joint there. It just doesn't quite go back as far right. as it should. The old fracture site and where the plate is holding um, the cut together um, is just here. I can feel it under the skin and we can see a little rub mark there where there's yep. actually, a, I can feel a screw underneath. Sometimes hardware like this plate has to come out uh, and sometimes the body wants to get rid of it. Lara's telling me that Paloma's limp is getting worse and there could be a lot of reasons for that. It could be a complication to do with the plate itself or residual pain from the original injury that she suffered. And the last thing that poor Paloma needs is more surgery considering the shocking history that she's had. Can we take a few x-rays of you? Thank you. That, I'm going to take that as a yes. Mm? Hey? Paloma, hey. where are your manners? Hey, I know, you're a bit of a flirt, aren't you really? Oh. Hey? Are you a bit of a flirt? Yes, is the answer to that. Yeah, me too. But before heading into the clinic, Laura has another unusual patient for Scott, a hedgehog. Wow, she's amazing. This is Polly. Wow, Polly and Paloma, the oddest of odd couples ever. Absolutely. <laughs> I've had her for two years. She's blind and she's part of the family and it's absolutely delightful. What's going on with her anyway? Well, I wonder whether she has a bit of lung work. She has been wheezing and coughing, so I thought I might as well ask Scott to take a look at her. Should we bring your little spiky sis? Should we? Hey, bring your spiky sis to the vet practice. There we go. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Polly's coming with you. Good girl. So Scott now has two patients to investigate and they're all getting a lift with him to Richmond. Here we are. Come on then, girls. Here we go. Come and say hi to Auntie M. Hi, Paloma. Ah. Hello, how are you? Here we go. Keep her nice and comfy. Yes, because we're going to sedate you and have a look at that leg, aren't we, sweetheart? Let's hope we don't find anything too bad. I'm just hoping that it's just something that can be fixed with rehab rather than have a major operation again. Oh, Paloma, you're so brave. What a brave girl you are. Lara adores this dog. She's so protective over her now. I think she just wants her life to be beautiful. Good girl. It's quite emotional, actually. I feel very emotional at the moment. Because she just looks so vulnerable. OK, ready? OK. But hopefully everything will be fine. X-ray. Poor Paloma has been through hell and back. She's had major surgery, and now I'm quite fearful that the plate seems like it could have moved, causing some discomfort. And the worst case scenario is that she might have to go through yet another surgery. What we can see is very clearly where the old fracture was. So this is where yeah. whatever horrible thing had happened to her, that's the damage caused. The question is whether the plate used to repair it has moved and will need to be surgically removed. Poor girl. So that's not a particularly attractive fracture site. When I think about everything that Paloma's been through, the terrible neglect and how she coped with what would have been an excruciating injury, it really makes me realise how brave and how dignified this beautiful dog really is. New owner Laura is anxiously waiting for the results. Right, so Paloma's doing very well. Emma's just monitoring at the moment, but okay. the x-rays are showing some really good news, actually. The fracture site, although it's not particularly attractive, um, it's healing, it's doing the job, and the plate is also doing its job, so that's not the problem. But what I have found is that there is some tightness in the ligaments to the foot. During the time that she was injured, the ligaments of her wrist have contracted like that because she lifted her leg off the ground for who knows how long until that healed. Mm. And as a result, now she's trying to run normally and have all the flexibility you would normally expect from those ligaments and it's just not there. So the key treatments that we need to consider is laser therapy. Now I know that sounds Ooh. a bit out there, uh, but it can work really well right. in these cases. So alongside physio, which will increase the flexibility of that joint. Okay, so no surgery needed, that's great news, but there's still a huge amount of work to be done to make sure that Paloma's leg moves freely. But I know she's got an incredible owner in Lara who's very dedicated, very determined to stick to the plan to make sure that her beautiful dog leads a pain-free future. And now we just need to give her a bit of therapy, a bit of love, oh, and I'm sure she's gonna come right. That's a relief. Yeah. yeah. That's a real big relief. Yeah. OK, so that's Paloma done. So let's have a look at Polly then, shall we? Let's pop you up here, gorgeous. Oh, look at you. Aren't you magnificent? Let's lay you down. Isn't she marvellous? Isn't she? She's adorable, isn't she? Isn't she? Owner Laura is concerned the hedgehog may have picked up a lungworm parasite. I'm just going to see if she'll let me have a listen. Good girl. I might never get this back again. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely incredible, actually, to hear a hedgehog's heartbeat. But what I can hear is what we call a dry rail, like a... <gasps> Wheezing, Is that yes, what you're hearing? Yes. So it wouldn't surprise me if she has a bit of a lungworm burden here. She does, of course, eat slugs in the garden, and slugs in this area are very known to have uh, lungworm. Right. So that's how dogs and cats get them as well. Lungworm is a parasite that's spread by slugs and snails and they're the favourite treat of a hedgehog. Now, normally they're pretty resilient to that sort of parasite, but when they're a little bit unwell, they can be coughing up blood and the parasites and can be life-threatening. So, what we're going to give her is this uh, white paste. 
Uh, whenever I've given it to hedgehogs before, it looks a little bit like when a two-year-old gets an ice cream for the first time. It's oh, just I can imagine. <laughs> so it will be quite a messy thing, but hopefully she'll have some of it uh, and it'll help to knock off those nasty parasites. You're not going to make this easy for me at all, are you? actually quite useful because she's bitten onto the end of the syringe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's let me get that in. The medication okay. should clear up Polly's lungworm immediately. Good girl. As for Paloma, she will soon begin the laser therapy to help get full movement back into her lame leg. I'm really hopeful that Paloma will make a great recovery and she'll be playing around in the park with all of her friends very soon. Okay, thank you very, and very much. Good luck much. with Polly in that uh, medication. Oh, That'll be my fun. My little prickly baby. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye, thank Lara. you, Scott. Bye bye. Bye, Paloma. Bye, Polly. Come on, this way. Just two days after Paloma's x rays, Laura has not wasted any time organising cutting-edge treatment to ease the stiffness in her Podenko's leg. Hello, Laura. How are you? How are you? How's our girl? Not bad. Yeah? Not bad. OK, well, yeah. now we're going to up the ante a little bit with laser therapy. Oh, wonderful. All right. I'll take her off your hands Thank and I'll you so see much. you later. OK. Cheers. Thank Bye. You. Come on, Thanks gorgeous. Bye-bye. Good girl. Laser therapy is fantastic for Paloma because it'll help her to break down any scar tissue that might be present in the leg, but at the same time it reduces inflammation, it can reduce pain, and it stimulates cell formation and regeneration. All great things when you've suffered with a chronic injury. Here we go. Hello. To Leah. So if you just give her a little hold there. Receptionist so Leah is going to help Scott you, uh, during the day. laser session. So you... It does need two people, and those two people need some crazy glasses, and Leah was more than happy to try some on. I think I'm going to go for the middle ones. Really? Yes, please. Surprising. Build a chic. I know. Bigger the better. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> you look like you're about to do a spot of welding. <laughs> well, I'm a woman of many talents. I so. bet you are. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sort of go for, like, triathlon style. What do you think? Excellent. It just works. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. What do you think, Paloma? Do I look like a plank? Hey? Yeah? All right, let's just sort your laser out now, shall we? So what we're going to be doing is just using this little machine and what we're going to be doing is for about six minutes just putting a laser onto her leg. So can she feel any of that? She might feel a little bit of tingling and she might feel a little bit of warmth as well. Oh, okay. She doesn't seem to be bothered by it though, no. do you, sweetie? Hmm? You are good. You're being such a good girl. You are. It was my first time seeing the laser machine. Um, I'm actually surprised how sort of gentle it was and didn't really affect Paloma in the slightest. It was really good. Hopefully what it's going to do, more importantly, is just try and heal and improve any scar tissue that might be mm. present. Just get a little bit more flexibility in this joint so you can run like a gazelle. <laughs> That's what we want, isn't it? There you go, Paloma. That wasn't too bad, was it? Hey, wasn't too bad. The fashion wasn't bad either. <laughs> hey. Come on. Hi, Laura. Good, Good to see you. And you. Mwah. Hello, beautiful Paloma. Ignoring me. She's too busy having fun. As for Paloma. After weeks of laser treatment and physio, the Podenko's leg is much improved. She does really seem to be walking brilliantly well. Oh yeah, totally. She runs, I haven't seen a limb. Paloma's looking fantastic. She seems so comfortable, she seems to be running so beautifully well, and it does seem that all the hard work that Laura's put in with regards to the physiotherapy alongside the laser has really made a difference. Yeah, absolutely. Good. She's loving life has lots of friends and she loves the park so much it's hard for me to get her to come home. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello, gorgeous. Good girl. Paloma is very grateful to have been saved and she shows me every day through love, affection and sometimes mischievousness, but that means that she's feeling at home and safe. And obviously that makes me very happy. 
I really admire Laura's passion for animal justice. When she heard about the plight of Spanish Pedencos, she didn't just stand by, she did something to help. This woman is a real rescue warrior, and I feel privileged to be able to have helped her with her cause. Well, Lara, I'm so proud of what you've managed to achieve with this dog, and she's looking great, she's running well, she's got lots of friends, and she's got a loving owner, so what else can we ask for? And I'm proud of you. Oh, what you've well, thank achieved. you. <laughs> Let's hug it out. Oh. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below that way.